Hi everyone, welcome back to OC Avery today where we're going to be taking a look at DNA sexing for our birds. I'm going to run you through the various bits of equipment that you need and the whole step-by-step -step process that I undertake when I'm sending off samples for my birds to be DNA sexed. These are some young red poles that we're going to DNA sex. I've also got some young canaries that I'm going to be DNA sexing because I haven't seen them seen yet and I'm really not convinced if they are cocks or hens. Now there's two methods you can use to actually DNA sex these birds. You can use feather samples or you can use blood samples. Today I'm going to show you how to use a feather sample uh, and my preference is feather blood is a little bit more dangerous I guess it's not as easily extracted as is a feather from a bird uh, so feather is always my preference. This is the equipment that you're going to need. Some sterile ziplock bags to put your samples in, some gloves so you don't contaminate your samples, pen and paper to write down the ring numbers, some sticky labels for the samples and at least two cages to transfer birds to and from. The first step is to get the ring numbers of the birds. Each sample needs to have a specific way of identifying it and your ring number is a unique way of identifying each bird. You're going to make a note of that on your piece of paper and you're also going to make a note of that on your labels so you can label each sample with the specific ring number of that bird. Next, you're going to collect your sample. Remove a couple of flight feathers or tail feathers, and I also add some breast feathers in there off each bird. Make sure to be very gentle with this. It shouldn't harm the birds at all, providing you pull one feather at a time, and you're very careful when you do this, and then add that to the Ziploc bag. Immediately, put the bird back in its cage so it isn't too stressed. Then you're going to label your sample using the ring number of the bird you've just taken the feathers from. Make sure to write this clearly so no mistakes can be made at the other end. So now we've collected our DNA samples from the birds that we need DNA sex in. So we need to send them off to someone who can DNA sex them for us. And that is going to be Avigenics. They're a UK based company who specialise in DNA section of birds as well as PBFD testing and APV testing as well. So I've sent my order in online, I've paid for my order, it's a really good price, and then I can send them off to them. And now that they're UK based, means that there's not gonna be any problems with customs and there's gonna be a quicker turnaround time to get my results. To make it easier, their end to make sure my samples don't get confused with anyone else's, I've included my order number. That is going to be going in the large letter, which I've got my samples in. We'll go to the post office now, and I'll see you when we've got the results. Okay, so it's nine days since we sent the samples off to Avigenics. It's six days since we've had confirmation of arrival, and I've now had a confirmation email to say that the results are ready to view. And they've also sent me over some little digital certificates to say what's male and what's female with the ring numbers and species name. Now, as bird keepers know, we always like to have more females than males because we can have spare females if one, something goes wrong with them. We can run one male over multiple females. However, nature doesn't like us doing that. And that's exactly what these results have shown. We sent in eight samples, seven males and one female. It doesn't matter. We can make uh, changes slightly to the breeding plans and I'm confident that these results are accurate. I've since seen some of the male red poles twilling that we sent samples in for and some of the male canaries singing that we sent results in for. But either way, I'm happy that these results are accurate. It's just a shame that we've got all these extra males. Uh, so on a separate note, we are gonna have some male red poles and male canaries to go. Uh, that have DNA sexing certificates. So if you are interested, to drop us a message. But I'm really pleased with this service. It's took nine days and we've got the results back. Really fast turnaround. Great communication by the Avigenics team as well. So a huge thank you goes to them. And if you do want to use them, the link is in the description of this video. So there you are. That is uh, 
slightly going to affect the breeding plans for this season, but it'll be all right. So if you have enjoyed today's video about DNA sexing, hopefully something that you are going to be using in your brew room should you need to. Uh, and it should touch, well, fingers crossed, touch plastic, be 100% accurate, then make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any more future content from OC Avery. And if you have enjoyed it as well, smash a like on it. It's very much appreciated. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.